Hello and welcome back, fellow feathered friends. At first, I have awesome news for us. We have reached over 100 subscribers. That's wow. In this short time, it's just so overwhelming. You guys have showed me that you really like the content on the channel. And I'm just so highly motivated through you birdies to make more and more videos in the new year for you. So today I have prepared a small special video for you, like to kind of celebrate this, where I want to show you which and why I use open source software. In the description you can also find some timestamps if you already know what open source is, so you can skip the definition if you want to. So at first, what exactly is open source? In the core, open source only means that the actual source code from a digital product is available to see in public. And that way everybody can exactly see what the program does, find some bugs if you really want to be sure that there is no spyware or other dangerous stuff in it. In the most cases you can find open source software in combination with a GitHub repository or a similar version control. Here it's common that this product is developed in a collaborative public manner. So this means a product from the community for the community. But pay attention. It doesn't mean that every open source product can be used for free for commercial use. Since there are many different ways to license your product, you really have to take care about in which way you are allowed to use the software. In the most cases, there are also some community structures behind an open source project. It means that like in commercial developed closed software, you also have some core developers and some leads which have the last choice when it comes to bigger design decisions. So all in all, open source is like a philosophy, because you will always need some professionals to take care about one special product, but the difference to a closed development is that everybody can see, improve and learn from your code. And this is a big thing. For example, Google and Facebook have a lot of closed secrets behind the scenes, and nobody exactly knows what they are doing. So if all software would be open source, everybody would know what was going on. Also, a lot of companies will begin to build an alternate to the big products like YouTube. The knowledge behind will be free and everybody can learn from it. I really love open source software. And as you can see in my daily Linux machine, I try to only use open source software. In the first place, I started to grow with open source software because in 90% of the cases, the software is free. And especially in my younger ages, when I started learning programming and game development, I really had no money or motivation to buy or crack the software I want to work with. I remember that the most tutorials only used Cinema 3D, 3ds Max and Photoshop. But today the open source community will grow faster and faster and since Blender 2.8 and GIM 2.1 made major changes, they are really great alternatives. And here's the next point on my list, the open source community. For me as a programmer, parrot, this is a paradise. Programs will become less and less of a mysterious black box and everybody in the community tries to help each other. It's like you can feel the real taste of digital freedom and I love it. You also have the advantage that you can open the source code to see how the software works every time you like. And I'm honest, I will never understand the source code of all products I use. But for me, I love game development and I really want to understand how modern game engines are built. So I'm free to download the source code of my favorite engine Godot and I can learn from it. The same thing for each one who wants to learn more about 2D image manipulation like GIMP or complex 3D render stuff like Blender. You can easily download and learn. So which open source software do I use? What can I replace with a free alternative? First, obviously, everything around the game development. As you know, I love using the Godot engine and this is my free alternative to Unity or the Unreal engine. Godot has also an MIT license, so theoretically I can build and sell my own engine from it as long as I credit the Godot engine as source. For everything in the 2D and 3D spaces, I use Blender 2.8 and GIMP 2.1. 
Yeah, I'm honest that I'm not really a professional when it comes to art. Uh, yeah, so these programs are already huge to me and I can create everything I need in my games with these programs. And as programming IDE, you can use, for example, code blocks or KDevelop. But here my favorite is Visual Studio Code, which isn't an open source product, but it's lightweight and elegant, if you know what I mean. For all my video editing stuff, I use for the recordings OBS Studio for the screen recordings, then Audacity for the sound recording and editing. And for the final video to upload, I use Caden Live for the last editing. And for every multimedia stuff, I have my lovely Firefox browser and my VLC media player, which can be really powerful tools. Actually, there's also a growing alternative to YouTube. This project calls itself Library and is a decentralized video sharing platform. And this is awesome since in a couple of days you can also find some cool Godot videos from other YouTubers like PicDev and me on it. If you'd like to support this project, feel free to take a look. And last of all, my operating system. Since I don't play newer powerful 3D games, I switch to my daily OS to an Linux Ubuntu system with a custom desktop environment similar to the one from Windows. So I can really do everything I need with a clear open source and free environment. Also, there's really, really a lot of more open source stuff out there. And especially in the Linux world, almost everything is open source and customizable. I'm also planning to show you birdies more about my daily operating system and how easy it is to work with. And yeah, I hope that we all can grow together on our hopefully long journey and that we can learn a lot of cool stuff from each other and also produce together. And yeah, so I want to thank you again. Yeah, also stay tuned for the Grid Game devlogs. I want to build this so badly with you guys together. I'm so hyped for this. I wish you a very good start into the new year. And I hope we see us many, many times. Is it on YouTube or library or wherever? Bye!